Right to some breaking news, we are tracking this noontime. Police have part of a road shut down right now in Bangor. News Center Maine's Raya Wooten is there with us. She joins us live this noontime with the latest. What can you tell us, Raya? Brian, we're Police here with the Bangor Police Department. Department. Sergeant Jason McCambly is giving us live updates here at the scene. So, turning over to Sergeant Jason McCambly now. What's going on here? So, we responded to what was reported as a person with a weapon that brandished at somebody in the house in 300 block of Hancock Street. We arrived, brought several people out of the house, about 10, maybe more, and we saw some of those people get arrested just recently. Five people were arrested on outstanding warrants and taken to Penobscot County Jail. Based on the information derived from those people, there was not enough to substantiate us continuing to be at the scene any longer or to go through the process of getting a warrant to search the house. It was, as one officer called it, a kernel of truth and a bucket of lies, so we're leaving. What time were you initially called here? How long was Hancock Street shut down? We've been here about an hour and a half total, uh, so yeah, about 10.30 I guess it came in, roughly. What's it like trying to deal with uh, all of those people at once trying to sift through what's going on? So fortunately, we got enough officers working on the street to come out and deal with everybody one on one. And there are plenty of members of our tactical team who are working patrol who were able to secure the outside of the house for us. And then the detectives came in, did the interviews and sorted out enough information to make us realize we don't need to be here anymore. Sergeant Jason Campbell, you told me um, that when you all were taking all of the people out of the home that you weren't sure whether or not there would be enough space for them at the jail and you had to make a call. So what's the update for that? So we did call the jail to make sure they're going to be able to take that many people at once. The jail is operating pretty much at capacity all the time. And is it actually worth taking the person in? There was one person did not go that has a warrant that did not go to jail because of medical reasons. They can't treat them at the jail. They were going to have to go to the hospital. So they were allowed to go free one more day. All right, Sergeant Jason McCampbell. So that is what we know so far. I think we'll continue to keep you updated if there's any more information after this. Raya, we're live in Bangor with the update from the police department. Raya, thank you.